well, here we go. Uh, another draft from Cardboard for Mars. Um, I'm back from Norway. I had a great time. And just itching to get back into a queue. So let's see what we got here. Um, I generally like Interplanetary Cinematics quite a lot. We've got some really good cards to start with Interplanetary Cinematics. Uh, Tharsis Republic, also okay, but with uh, mining, mining rights, Titanium Mine, Mohol, that's just a perfect setup for um, cinematics because they're all um, uh, steel placement uh, cards. I also really like Ice Asteroid. It's just a good way, particularly in the beginning, uh, to get some bonus uh, resources. Um, let me throw high good luck in here. I don't think I want any of these other things. Um, the bummer about Ice Asteroid is I will not be able to play it on turn one. But from my positioning on the board here, it looks like I'll probably be ready to play it on turn two. Radcam Factory is also interesting. I think I'm going to skip it, though. I'm just going to take those just to save cash. That could be... I mean, Radcam Factory is good. Um, so I'm playing Mining Guild and Eco Line. All right. So in terms of first plays here, I want to get Mohole down first. Well, let's see. How much do I have here? Um... So this is 16, 36 total, and I've got I've got enough to play all three of these cards, so that's really good. Um, I want to pick up all the bonuses that I can. Corporate Stronghold, okay, interesting. Good spot for that. <clears throat> Interestingly, this makes it a little a little less desirable for me to drop um, the well. Actually, Mohol is perfect here because then I can take these bonuses away from him. So let me do let me do Mohol next. Get those cards. Um, and that's annoying for him because it takes the uh, he he certainly would have wanted to play something there to get the the cash bonus off of that. Uh, let's see what we drew. Lunar beam and comet. Comet's pretty good. Uh, but I think what I want to do is just get uh, Titanium Mine down now. And then we're going to get one more bump to our... Hey, don't buy. I've got your ice cubes right here, buddy. Right from the start on this one. You don't even have to put the time on there. Um, it was a pretty good start because we have two really good... Um, space event cards to play with the titanium that we're going to be generating and we have a huge jump on builder um, well not a huge jump but we should have a pretty good a pretty sizable jump um, I do want to prior prioritize building tags um, in the draft portion to make sure that I get builder when the eco blind player plays a city and that's a pretty good city for them because it's so cheap um, this this guy's very likely to get the gardener, and now he's actually pretty well positioned to get mayor too, uh, with that cheap city. So curious to see what the mining guild player wants to do. I'm gonna probably lead off next turn by playing ice asteroid and picking off these two ocean tiles so that he can't get the the steel placement bonus off of that. Um, hey Horst, how are you doing? Uh, good to see you. Um, my other corporation was Tharsis Republic, um, but I had really good cards for interplanetary cinematics. I had Mohol area, uh, titanium mine, and mining rights. Um, so I had a really, really good, I think pretty clear uh, interplanetary cinematics and also just a, a two good event cards already which is great this is already four cash back here with interplanetary cinematics and ice asteroids very nice to start with um, I'm actually perfectly positioned actually to play ice asteroid because I wouldn't have wanted to play it on this turn I wanted to do all this other stuff first 
And so the fact that I lead off the next round, the mining guild player has one chance now to pick up these uh, these bonuses, and uh, it's pretty likely that he will pick one of them up. But we'll see. And if he does, that's fine. I can also just uh, um, pick up another card over here. <clears throat> but I, I just have a lot of value here. Um, I mean, this represents another 10 credits. If I pick those two up, I get two back for being interplanetary cinematic. So basically getting to play two ocean tiles for 11 credits, which is, that's pretty strong. And then, um, of course, that's the double bump to my economy and everything as well. So, Horst, uh, you're, you're in Germany, right? I was just in, I was just in Norway. I just uh, flew back from your side of the uh, Atlantic. Um, Flooding, yeah. So he picked up um, he picked up one of those bonuses. It's a good play for him. Interesting. So maybe he's thinking. I think, good play for him. Um, maybe he's thinking that he had to get that city down early just to try and compete for mayor. There's not a clear, a clear award for mining guild. Well, I guess I guess builder, but I'm certainly gonna try and race him for that. He's got two cards. Yeah, maybe I should have kept the. Uh, um, I had one other one other um, steel card that I could have kept and I did not. I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel pretty bad if uh, if uh, that doesn't work out for me. Okay. I'll take this guy now. This gets me two credits back, so I, it, it mitigates it a little bit. All right, I still have 18. Um, interesting. I could just play Comet now. Since, he, since Ice Asteroid... Um, I'm going to save my cash. I'd rather just uh, just just have a little bit more cash to start the next round. Um, that's debatable because that is a good play right now. I get two cash back. I bump my TR by two. But I, I just want to have the flexibility to play a big card if I get one. Um, like as it stands, if I drew uh, IO mining, for example, I could I could probably play it. Uh, let's see, 38, so I'm going to have, yeah, I could. I could. Um, yeah, and also the Mining Guild guy is fighting me for builders, so I, I may need to just save my cash for building tags. He's only got one card, so he, he's running out of steam. Yeah, maybe I made a miscalculation and not taking, I can't remember what that other one was called, but I had one more building tag in my opening hand. Um Alrighty. So definitely want to get building tags. Okay. Did not get a building tag, but arrow breaking is really good for us because we have two good space events. Um, so I'm definitely happy about that. Thirty eight cash. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Vic, how are you doing? Um, okay. So that's good. So we do have, oh, that's like the worst building tag there is. Um, heat trappers. So minus two, if anybody's producing heat, the only person producing heat is me. Uh, definitely gonna take that. I don't think I'm gonna play it though. 
Quantum Extractor is good. So far, this is not shaping up to be a science tag type of game, however. Okay, well, that was not a great draft <clears throat> round. Definitely going to take arrow breaking. That's pretty sweet. I just Heat Trappers is just not good right now. I, I hit my own heat. I guess it's pretty likely that somebody else will play. I'm just going to take this as a... Um, a lot of the, I'm just going to take it on the chance that somebody does play one of those. All right, so I definitely want to get uh, arrow breaking down. So I'm going to go ahead and play arrow breaking. And then I'm going to go ahead and get ice asteroid down. I don't think anybody has any plants here, right? Uh, the eco line guy has six. Maybe I'll just play comet then. Yeah, let's start with Comet. Man, these space events are just going to be ridiculous for me. Um, let's make sure to take that one so the Mining Guild player can't get it. Hit that. Um, with cinematics and arrow breaking, I get five back for every space event. It's just That's just really, really good. Um, So I don't really have a need to play Lunar Beam. I guess what I'm hoping is that somebody plays like Carbonate Processing or something that I can hit the, and the um, oh, the Mining Guild player passed. Interesting. So maybe he's just saving up cash to try and play a bunch of um, building tags. Well, if that's what he's going to do, I'll probably do the same thing. Towing a comet. Yeah. It's a good play for him. All right, well, I think I'm just passing. I don't, I don't really want Lunar Beam yet. Like that, is that even good? No, I don't think so. I think I want to keep my cash. I'm open to a, what, what do other people think about Lunar Beam there? I just don't, I, I think that card's not that great, but like, if you think about it, it's Gen 2. This game's going to go to Gen 10 or 11. I'm basically paying 16 cash for 32 cubes. I guess it's not that bad. 32 um, energy and... Well, it really ends up being 30 cubes because I don't get the last two energy cubes in the last generation. So 30 cubes. I guess it's not that bad. That's like three bumps to the heat. Oh my gosh, Demos down and Giant Ice Asteroid and Asteroid Mining Consortium all in the same pack. That's ridiculous. Well, the good news is that whatever I get, whatever I get back is going to be amazing. Um, the Ecoline player is not playing another plant for the next two turns. <laughs> um, wow. I think it's just Demos down. Um, and I'm probably going to wheel Asteroid Mining. But I think it's Demos down. It's cheaper. I get all the steel back. Man, that card, that's amazing. Okay, so um, that was an amazing pack. 
here's a question then. So do I take physics complex just to have the building tag? I mean, the way that this is going, I might be able to compete for um, Terraformer. I mean, if this if the mining guild player wants to play physics complex, uh, it's, it's that's bad to pass that to him. Um, yeah, gene repair is good though too. This is a tough one. I feel like if I pass physics complex, I'm sort of passing on builder. But um, oh wow, Mars University, that's so good. How did that get to me? Yeah, I agree with you, Horst. I don't like uh, Lunar Beam very much at all. But now that I'm sitting there thinking about the math on it, it it's not maybe as bad as I thought. Although, um, man, I'm going to pick up, as, if, if these are still available, I'm going to be able to pick up both of those heat bumps too. Because um, I have a bump to the heat and... Demos down, and this guy is going to be highly incentivized to to do something to play that plant because he's going to know it's coming. Although, um, man, that's just an incredible pack. Look at that pack. Um, all right, so I know giant ice asteroids coming down. I should still have time to play this, and these events are just so good for me with arrow breaking and. Uh, all right, so I only have the one science tag. Um, I don't think I'm going to take gene repair. That could be a mistake. Um, I don't know. It just seems far away. It's a cheap two points, though, if I do get it. Um, one tag here. All right, I'm going to take it. Uh, if I, Well, let's see here. No, I'm not gonna take it. I think I just need to save all my cash right now. I'm here. I'm, I, I can't. I can never remember on this program which way the drafting is going. It's it's actually pretty annoying that I can never remember. I need to like write a put it like a post-it on my computer or something. Actually, do you guys know what what direction is? Uh... Yeah, I probably am. Although these guys don't have titanium production yet, so I still have a couple more turns of that titanium production. This player is going to be highly incentivized to um, try and get that plant down because I'm about to I'm about to regulate. All he needs to do is play an ocean tile. It'll be enough. Um, oh wait, actually, no, yeah, maybe not. No, he he's got to get he's got to get up to seven here. Oh wow, I feel bad for him. Okay, so we're gonna go bump the heat here. And then we're gonna hit the demos down. And that guy had a had about a 50-50 chance. Well no, I mean he knows that one of those came Well, I guess he doesn't necessarily know. It just depends on which way the draft is going. All right, and we're going to hit eco line. He's got to be a, a little bummed about that one. Hopefully he won't rage quit because so far this has been a good game, but I, I think the eco line player is going to be left in the dust. The the mining guild player seems quite experienced. Is going to pick up looks like he's going to pick up mayor. Um I think that the the eco line player was sort of hoping to get mayor and gardener, but uh, I think he may now have a problem getting either. I'm going to go ahead and get Mars University down. These guys still don't have heat production. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get Mars University down. Yeah, let's do that, and I'm gonna discard uh, the uh, lunar beam. I just don't. I just don't want that card. Great dam. Okay, that card's m r great for us right now because it gives us some energy production, but it also gives us another building tag. More importantly. He's got five cards in hand. I think I'm up by two now. Yeah, six to four. And if I if I absolutely had to, I could just like punk myself, <laughs> take my own heat. But uh, <laughs> that would be that would be a disaster scenario. Okay, so hold on a sec. So, Horst, you're saying it's odd up, even down. Is that right, Vic? Can you confirm that? Because I'm going to make a little note, a sticky note on my computer. Okay. So Phobos Space Haven is awesome. I I don't mind if somebody goes for... I, I just can't let anybody get this because I know that that... I know that that card is floating around Asteroid Mining Consortium. So I, I have to take the cards that give, generate uh, titanium for people. So that's a pretty clear keep for me. <laughs> well, I don't want to write the sticky note until somebody who really feels confident about it. I mean, I my guess is that Horst is right, but um, can can we like can someone look that up <laughs> on uh, on the Steam thread or something and, and confirm it? Because once that sticky note goes up, like. I'm I'm never gonna remember to change it, and so you will be contributing to a systemic error. Okay, electro catapult is really good, um, and I do have the energy to play it now. That card's awesome. Okay, that was a really good draw. I'll take that one. Uh, I don't have a way <coughs> right now to um, to generate. Um, plants or steel, but I do have ice asteroid, which could generate me, uh, and convoy, which will generate me enough um, plants that I can sell them. So that was a very good draw for us. That's our seventh uh, uh, building tag. Um, now, the mining guild player is amassing a lot of steel. So depending on the cards, um, depending on the cards he draws, he he could get all the way to Builder this turn. Um, he certainly has enough cards in hand if he's got the right ones, uh, but we'll see what he has. Oh, I see, Horse. So you're saying that that down, but isn't isn't that just a matter of perspective? Dang it, I hope, uh, I hope uh, this one doesn't become uh, Huh. Oops, that was a uh, Okay, um, that was a, a, a like a just a against the computer game. Okay, here we go. Electro catapult. Hopefully this works.
Right, but player order being clockwise, like the clockwise position, it depends. Like when you're making an up and down, it just depends on whether you're left of the uh, of the uh, corporate icons or to the right of the corporate icons. That would change the 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 direction of clockwise, right? That's why it's so confusing that they put them in a vertical orientation and then refer to things as being clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense. It's all a matter of perspective. Man, this would be too bad if I... Okay. I was going to say, it would be too bad if this one locked up because the Mining Guild player has a strong draw. Um, now, this farming could be good because I think the heat's going to go up very fast. But I'm going to take birds. Um, birds... That, that could be a mistake. Yeah, I think the auction is going to go up a lot slower. I'm going to take farming. Um, the um, I just think the heat's going to go up fast enough that I might get an opportunity to actually get some utility out of that. All right, so I'm going to take Fewa Space Haven, Electro Catapult, and farming. I'm going first next turn, which means that you know, like if the mining guild player, okay. I mean, I could. This is a complicated decision because I could get. I have enough tags here to beat him to it. I need to make sure I have enough cash, to do it though. So if I if I play electro catapult. And. Um, ah, shoot, I can't see my cards now. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Okay. If I play Electro Catapult and Heat Trappers, uh, so that would cost me 23. And then to fund the award, it would take me up to 31. So. If I don't take any cards this turn, I actually do control. I control my own fate with that. Um, this guy's got. He's got five cards and the draft and just a ton of steel. Um. All right, I'm going to skip farming. I think I have enough cash to do everything with these two cards. I, I could be just a couple short. Um, let's see what happens. <clears throat> because if I... Okay, so I go... That's six, because I would need enough to play a convoy. All right, so I have to play. I have to play convoy first, because I get five cash back from this. So this costs me ten. That puts me at nineteen. Then I play electro catapult. Oh, now I'm gonna be a little short. I think I'm, oh no, because I have. I, that's right, because I have the two titanium too. Okay, I think I can do all of this. Um, I gotta make sure I do this in the right order though. Okay. 
so I have to play I have to play convoy first because I need the plant to sell on electro catapult. So I'm gonna go convoy here. And I'm gonna take these plants and cash. All right, now I'm gonna play Electro Catapult. This is a complicated turn, okay. So, so then this guy, so now I'm at seven miles, uh, seven, he's still at four. So I think I will have enough actions to control the destiny of Builder. So if he goes, because on my next turn I can sell, I can sell one of my plants and then I have, and then I have the ability at any time to go heat trappers into the milestone should I have to and I can also just bide my time by doing heat bumps um, I guess I'm one short to do two okay that's not what I was expecting okay interesting I was expecting him to play so maybe he's just giving up on builder so I have to I have to play this turn out a little uh, judiciously now because um, I mean I guess he's only got four cards in hand so he's still at four on builder maybe he's just giving up on builder I don't know Okay, so first let's just go ahead and sell this. Make sure that I don't get my plants taken and I'll pass it on to Mining Guild. I want to see what this guy's doing because I, I definitely don't want to play Carbonate Processing if I don't have to. I mean, I'd much rather play a building tag that I get out of the next draft um, round. Because I'm leading off the next generation, I can just take a building tag and then play the and then just play it and then uh, claim builder I would much rather have that and I'm actually in the discussion for with the cards that I have in hand I'm gonna be in the discussion for uh, terraformer as well yeah so he's gonna go for mayor interesting okay so I'll do a heat bump here and pass let's see here yeah, because if when I if I play Ice Asteroid next turn, I'll be able to bump the heat twice. That put me at 30, 32 with Ice Asteroid. Okay, all right, very good. All right, so I don't have to play Heat Trappers then. So I'll just pass. So I think that I have a, a chance at Terraformer Unlikely, honestly, because the uh, the eco line player is going to get to Gardner before I can get there. Um, particularly if I if I do like a building tag, if I you know, which I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna do that. So, um, okay, so GHG factories is is the building tag I need. These guys are not going for space. Um, I, I don't have any Jupiter tags at this point, so I'll just take GHG. That's a good draw for me. Um, and it also it also it's getting me to Thermalist. I think um, unfortunately Insulation was already in one of the packs that I that I saw, but I may want to fund Thermalist in this game because I'm just going to have a lot of production of heat. All right, so I, that's good. So I've got. Um, um, all right, let's see your cards played. Yeah, this card's good for me. I'll take the robotic workforce. It's a science tag. So I got I got builder locked up, and then depending on how this turn goes, I might be able to get terraformer, though it's less likely.
I'm gonna I'm gonna get a ton of bumps out of this heat tracker with optimal arrow breaking. The card's just pretty busted when you get the right cards to go with it. Okay, so I'll take Robotic Workforce and GHG Factories. Um, you could make a case for not taking Robotic Workers, but it's going to be good. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. It's going to be good. It's only Gen 5. Um, all right, so let's see what these guys do. Oh, it's me. Sorry, I forgot. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead. I don't want to mess around. I'm just going to take... Um, I'm just going to play GHG Factories and uh, claim Builder because uh, there's just no reason to mess around with it. Let these guys take their turn to do that as well because I'm almost... Oh, wow. Um, oh, yeah. The, the Ecoline player is almost certainly going to play a Greenery and take the um, Gardener, and then the Mining Guild player is going to take Mayor. So that worked out pretty well. And then if this comes back around, when it comes back around to me, um, I probably want to get Space Haven down this turn. And then I'll save up Ice Asteroid for next turn. Yeah, you're right, Horst. I need to do that. Who else, who else has plants? Um, I guess the eco line guy. If yeah, no, I don't think the only card that I saw that hates plants is um, uh, giant ice asteroids. So one of these guys has that, and uh, they don't have enough cash to play that. This guy's really stockpiling a lot of uh, steel. Either he's just been very unlucky and not drawn uh, steel cards. Yeah, I mean, maybe he just hasn't drawn the steel cards. I'm surprised he didn't take Mayor there. I think that's a mistake. He, he, he certainly should have taken Mayor. Um, I don't think I have enough cash to punish him for that. Um... I, I might be able I might be able to get there though let me think so if I've got so I've got ice asteroid that's gonna be two bumps that gives me six more heat which is another two bumps here that's four that gets me to 32 yeah I'm gonna be a little short I don't think I can punish him for it unfortunately but um, that would be amazing if I could get terraformer though He's in the right position to be making that play, though, because he gets to lead off the next round. Okay, so... Odd up, even down. Oh, he played the Ice Asteroid. Interesting. He did not take my plant, so that's nice. Definitely going to do that. I'm not sure I understand that play. Um, I guess, does he have enough cash to get something going right now? I mean, I don't know. That seems like a very risky play. Um, I can't punish him either. I don't have the means to do it, but... Definitely going to play this Ice Asteroid right now. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna play as Ice Asteroid. This is just too too good right now. Oh shoot! Dang it! There's a. <laughs> I think it was still worth it, but I only got the one. But there's only one remaining uh, ocean. Uh, let's see here. So that was not as good as I was hoping. 
Do I want the card or the plant? I probably just want the plant because I can sell it next turn. All right. Um, yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake. I guess I, I the giant ice asteroid was two more, uh, two more bumps to those tiles. Let's see here. So I'm gonna get two heat bumps right now. And then I'll play a Robotic Workforce. And I think Robotic Workforce lets me cycle a card, and I can cycle this Heat Trappers now. Um, Those are pretty guilt-free uh, bumps to the heat because uh, with all the oceans out, this one's this one's done. Um, Ecoland has a lot of. Uh, they definitely have a lot of uh, terraforming. They're doing pretty well there in that respect. You got the gardener. All right. I'm at 31. I'm going to play this robotic workforce. And let's discard this guy. And interesting. We could get more heat, but I think. I mean, maybe that might be better. Let's see. It's a little tough because we're on Gen 5. The question is, this game's going to end pretty fast, actually. I think this is going to be like a turn Gen 9 or 10 game. I think I might just want Molehole. It also like almost locks up Thermalist for me. Yeah, let's just do Molehole. And I think I'm gonna fund the thermalist. I don't think any. I don't think these guys are catching up to me on that. And um, let's see wh where do we look. Where are we looking on awards here? Scientist, banker, landlord, thermalist, miner. Yeah. So the the natural one for the cinematics player is, or for the mining guild player is miner. Um, he should win that easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and fund, when this guy passes the turn, I'll go ahead and fund uh, Thermalist. All right. Alrighty, I think that's everything for that turn. Okay. So... Let's see here. 
Industrial microbes or ecological zone. Adjacent to a greenery tile. Yeah, probably just going to take the microbes here. I also want to cut any building tags from that mining guild player because it may just be that he's just not getting the cards. And if I can just keep building tags out of his hand, it could be annoying for him. Um, I don't think that I need any more uh, heat production. I think I'm going to go for uh, peroxide power, which will give me a, an, another energy source in case in case I need it. I know that um, the first card I drafted uh, also get, gets me some uh, energy, but this gives me a little bit more just depending on what I draw. Like if I start getting some of those city cards, they might be good. Um, Also, that had the advantage of being a building tag. Also, I need to remember to prioritize um, space event cards. Got the colony ship. If I get to five science tags, I'm at two. That's that's unlikely to be super helpful. Reservoir is not going to be very good. Which player is which here? Malaria is eco line. Okay. Igor Canutes. Okay, now it's on eco line. Maybe it's just a tough draft. I never realized how much ice I choose a uh, chew. All right, windmills. I'll take windmills. I mean, it's a point. It's a cheap point. Um, I don't really care about energy tapping, and <clears throat> but I will take that cheap point. I have 31 cash. I don't have a ton of great cards to play in hand. So I will take windmills. Um, given that I have windmills here, I don't think I'm gonna play microbes. Um, I think I'll just save the cash. I don't really need that building ta or the steel production at this point. Um, I will take peroxide power just in case I need more energy. Unlikely to play this. Yeah, I guess I'll just take those two. Um, yeah, I'll just take those two. I'm not going to tell them that I've been counter drafting, <laughs> counter -drafting them. <laughs> um, yeah, so that makes perfect sense for that guy to play that. This has been a good game. Um, I I'm I have I think the mining guild player. Yeah, I mean he's he's in a good spot actually. I mean he got he got a milestone and an award. <laughs> I guess he figured it out. <laughs> Um, this one's close because I, I don't have a lot of points on cards usually one of the sort of characteristics of my gameplay is that I really prioritize 
points on cards. Um, but I only have three points here. These guys don't have a lot of points either, but uh, they've got you know much better board position. So I do have a milestone. I have an award. Um, I don't think there's a clear other award for anybody right now, so I don't think those are going to go yet. Um, and the one that he chose here on mining, I should be able to get second on that unless the Ecoline player does something else. I guess that's a reason that I could have gotten Industrial Microbes. Um, that's going to be an interesting game. I, I'm... The cards that I have in hand are not like super great, so I'm a little bit at the mercy of what I what we draw. Um, <clears throat> I do have a good heat engine, but that's going to run out pretty quickly. Um, this guy's doing a very good job protecting all these plants and preventing us from getting cities and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Um, just make sure I do that. And then I think what I'm going to do here is is just sort of bide my time. Um, see what these guys do this turn. I will play the Space Haven <clears throat> at the end of the round if uh, if I get the opportunity. Another option would be that if somehow this oxygen starts going up, I could just buy a plant tile and place it somewhere. And it, it might be reasonable for me to buy a city this turn um, for a couple of reasons. One, if I place a city here, for example, I mean, uh, the best place to place it would be here. Um, but if I place it here, it also gives me some plants to sell for the next couple of turns. <clears throat> Maybe I just want to play a city here, actually. Does that guy have enough? Yeah, he's got enough. That might have been a mistake on my part. I, I it, it may have been better for me to wait on bumping the heat and just and just buy a city here. Um, because this really crimps the eco line player. It forces that person to buy another city in a in a location that's totally on another part of the board. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna say that was a mistake. I sh I should have bought a city there with with that turn. Yeah, that's a good play for the uh, yellow player just to basically get to start angling for second on um, on thermalist. I think a really good play for this guy would be to build a city here, and that was that was definitely a mistake on my part. If this comes to me, I will certainly do that. Uh, and I, I had the opportunity to do it, so. <clears throat> I think in my mind, I was thinking I was going to play the Space Haven, but this is a really good spot to play a city because you get all these plant tiles, but it is vulnerable to somebody just playing a city right here. Yeah. Well, if I end up losing this game, I think it will definitely be a direct a direct relation to that misplay. Uh, let's go ahead and bump the heat here. And <clears throat> do I want to play this Space Haven? I mean, there's there's not a huge benefit to me getting this titanium right now because I don't have any more space cards. And I may just want to save some cash here. So I'm just going to skip and see what these guys do. I think he's going to pass. Yeah, that was a big misplay. I, I really would have been much better had I played my city right there. but Because he's just going to get a lot of points here. I mean, these are all four-point plays because of... Uh, you know, double point off the city, point for the thing, and a bump on the oxygen. Um, yeah, that was pretty bad. That was a bad error. And I don't, I just don't have a lot of points in, usually, I usually end up with about 20 points or 25 points on cards, which is a good insulator for that sort of mistake, but I'm not sure I'm going to have it in this one. 
Um, the green player probably should fund landlord, but um, so the the milestones are all even. <clears throat> Yeah, I like Ecoline's spot in this one. Um, I think I think the Ecoline player is well positioned. You got a, a pretty decent uh, greenery tile engine going. Good board position. Space Station, yep. I'm gonna pass here. It does. It does cost me three uh, point credits or whatever because uh, I would have gotten one titanium production. Um, yeah, horse. Just because it turns on, it just turns on cards that are good for uh, uh, generating uh, plant cubes and stuff. Is that what you mean? I'm gonna see what what we draw here. If I drew something like Nocta City, um, then that might change where I play things. But I'm I'm at this point I'm sort of eyeing a city location right here, trying to get down greenery tiles against the oceans to get cash back. Um, that's sort of what I'm thinking, but. Um, I think I, I really this was a this was in in retrospect a pretty big misplay. I'm not sure why the what the binding guild players thinking about here. All right. Well, I hope I hope Igor is still playing. I maybe he just stepped away from the computer for a moment. Hope you didn't just leave. That'd be so annoying. I don't think he would though. I mean he's not out of this. He has a war and a milestone. I guess he's ten points behind. I guess he he, he is starting to slip away here a little bit. Cause he didn't really do any terraforming. That's the thing about mining guild. I, I actually don't think it's 
I mean, he ended up building these cities, which is is good. You know, he got the production bonuses and everything, but um, cities are so expensive. He spent he spent seventy five cash here, didn't raise a TR parameter, and got three bumps to his steel, including some steel cubes. But I, I think the way that you want to play mining guild. Okay, good. Uh, is that you? You generally want to. You really want to get these uh, these building uh, steel bo boosts by playing these oceans with events, um, and you want to get the you you want to buy t cheap tiles that onto the board that let you do this. Um, okay, All right, let's see what we got here. So in terms of toll station, these guys probably have zero space tags. <laughs> this has not really been a space tag type of game. I'm going to let that one pass. I don't care about biomass combustors. Mining area. I don't even think I have a tile on the board right now. Um, because I just got this one. So I'm going to let mining area go. I'm going to take business contacts. Um, it's an event card, which means that, well, I guess it's not a space event. I get two back for it, but I want to dig for what? Like, what do I want in this game? Science tags, maybe, so I can get to, um, maybe I can get up to uh, colony ship. I have two tags right now. <coughs> Yeah, this guy. I can't play the mining guild there though because I don't own these uh, tiles. It has to be next to a tile you own, I believe. So I'd, in order for me to use that, I have to... Okay, all right, so this is interesting. Advanced alloys, it's not really that great for me in and of itself. And I'm we're passing, what, what round are we on now? So we're passing up. So I'm passing to Eco Lions, so that it was the Mining Guild player passed me Advanced Alloys. I think I'm just taking Fish here. I mean, Fish is going to be a bunch of points with how fast we're raising the heat. And if I get something like Convoy, uh, or really just any of these incidental cards that put um, animals on cards, they could be good for me. Um... Uh, neither of these are great. I guess I'll just take the field dome. I don't think I'm buying that card. The green player is going to fund Landlord almost for sure. Is it worth trying to slow his plant production down? I, I don't think so. We're definitely taking these two. These cards are just not that good. I'm going to just I'm going to go off business contacts and see if we can't get something better. Yeah, space events are definitely what I want. Um, space events, science tags. Huh. <clears throat> what to do here? Yeah, Ecoline player really played well. I mean, usually... That's true. I still think I'm going to be able to get plants, though, because my, my, my ultimate plan is going to be to build a city somewhere. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, you're, you're right. I'm, I'm still going to get that this turn. I'm not um, that worried about that. I don't think that's a great play. I think, I think if I were him, I would definitely be filling up these spots uh, because <clears throat> I'm just completely incentivized now to to drop a city, buy a plant. And I have the cash to do it. Let's see here.
Maybe I just build my city here. It gives me two good spots to play into. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I'll just drop the city here. And then I'll just standard project a greenery tile here. Which is good for a lot of reasons. Uh, it gives me the, the bump on my terraforming parameter. I need to start getting some more oxygen out of this tracker to just absorb points from the uh, eco line player. Okay. <clears throat> I think I think I would have been the clear favorite in this game had I played the city here. I think this is this is a a pretty gargantuan mistake. Um, I think I was just, I don't know, playing too fast or something. I should have really thought. I, I, got, I got fixated in my head that I was going to play Space Haven that turn. But as it stands, I think I'm a slight underdog to win this game. Even though I shouldn't be. Because <laughs> I had a pretty good draw. But the Equaline player has really been able to get enough uh, terraforming going that usually you, the Equaline player sort of catches up here at the end on that. Um, but he got out ahead with giant ice asteroid and stuff like that. And really, I mean, the, he's got a lot of points there and I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to generate enough points, uh, uh, out of cards and on the board to account for that, unfortunately. Um, let's just go ahead and do business contacts and see what we get here. All right. So... AI Central is good. Um, definitely gonna take that one. That's a little expensive. Um, mineral deposit's good too, uh, just because it's it's cheap and I can use it to pay for AI Central. So I guess I'll do those. Um, this gets I get two back for this when I play it. <clears throat> All right, I guess I'll take those. And I, I think I am going to need some help here uh, to, to win this one. So the cards that I draw with AI, I think, will actually be helpful. I think I think this game is going to end in definitely not going longer than ten. I think it's going to end on nine. I think I think we have two more generations. So. In that case, it's not going to be that card's not going to be amazing. Then it is a science tag, which gets me to three. You know, I'm kind of wishing now that I had kept the uh, genetics lab or whatever. Um, I made that decision a long time ago not to do that, and um, maybe that guy's going for banker now. That would not be great for me because the the eco line guys in second on that. So if he's going for banker, I don't have any cards that bump my um, that bump my uh, money production at this point. All right, so uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and bump the heat. Oh, it's not my it's not my turn. <laughs> I was wondering why that wasn't working. Um, deep well heating. Yeah, I think that's wise for this guy to just try and take points away from me out of the heat tracker. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and play Mineral Deposit. I think I'll have enough. To, I think I have enough to play. Let's see here. So I have a 24. And I, in order to play AI and Windmills, I need 27. So I could sell three cards. I don't really want to sell these three cards. Um, I might even get to fish this turn. No, probably not then. That's too bad. It would have been nice to get those two cards off of AI this turn. I just think there's a, I definitely don't want to sell fish though. That's, that's a two pointer. And I think there's a chance I could still get to colony ship. Let me be one cash short. Well, I lead off the next round, so there's no reason not to play windmills. I'll leave the rest of the steel to sell. Um, Yeah. Maybe it's time to play the Space Haven. That would cost me 13. I don't have any. I do have this event card. Yeah, I guess it's time to play that. All right. Yeah, I think the Ecoline player played really well in this game. I am they're playing Ecoline the exact way that I think is good, which is that um, you want to end the game very quickly because I mean, as it turns out in this case, he did okay with the engine, but um, usually you spend a bunch of time in the beginning failing to get stuff going. Um, and so other players develop better engines. So if the game goes long, it's really good for you. Now, <clears throat> this is a tricky one because I do want that Neptune probe. But this thing's actually pretty good for us. I think it has to be nitrogen because um, this might wheel. This is good for us, though, because it's a space event. And it gives us four plants and two animals, which we can put on fish. So I think... Um, I think that's a good card for us. Yeah, I may not make it to AI. I think that's going to be... That's going to be sort of a backup plan. I, I'm going to go... I want to get fish down, and then I'm going to play this imported nitrogen. Try and get as many bumps out of this heat tracker as I possibly can. Um... All right. Well, I'll take I'll take investment loan. I think that's actually pretty good for us, um, <clears throat> because it's an event card. It's just a little bit more cash. It cost me three. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Unfortunately, if 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 the mining guild player funds banker, that could end up hurting us. But I don't see how we're going to really be able to compete for that. I don't have a way to bump the economy. Um, 
All right, so those were just a total whiff, the remaining cards in the pack. This has been a good game. These guys played well. Um, I'm, I'm really angry at myself for making this misplay here. That was really bad. Um, okay. Oh, the probe came around. All right, well... 38 cash. I'm going to go probe, loan. Let me make sure that this is worth it. So I think it is. I mean, basically, it's going to be three to three to buy, three to play. Actually, one to play because I get um, the two credits back for the event card. So it's just a plus six, and I lose one. Um, yeah, I think I have enough stuff to play here, though, that I don't need the ants, Horst. I think... I think I'm already not going to be able to play all the stuff that I have. Um, my priority, my priority now is going to be to get just as many points as I can out of these trackers. So I want to go here. All right, let me take a quick look at this guy's end at this production. So he's going to end up at eleven. And I'm generating 14, so I can spend this one too. All right, so then my next play is going to be fish and imported nitrogen. I know, the pro, that actually is good, so. I still think I'm too far away though. I've got two science tags right now. This is going to be my third. This is the kind of science tag I definitely want. I definitely want to play this one. Um, this would be my fourth. I, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it is worth it to play it. But I think imported nitrogen's better for me right now. It's a guaranteed three pointer. Okay. The other thing about imported nitrogen is that it gives me more heat, which I can use this turn to turn into a bump here. If I were the Ecoline player, I would try and bump the heat here and um, no, I think I've got two. Yeah, I've got two tags and I've got two more in hand here. So he played Noctis Farming. He's just trying to get the last little bits out that he can. Yep. Okay. So I want to play Fish for sure. So let's just go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to hit the um, eco line player. And then I want to. I don't want to tip off that I have the imported nitrogen. So I think what I'll do is just sell. Um, well, let me think about this. Because I think I'd actually rather sell this plant. Than the steel, which I'm going to use to pay for AI. So I think I'll just go ahead and play this now. Even though it does signal to them what I'm going to do with the heat here. Um, confirm. All right. Let me do a quick calculation here. So this guy's going to be at 11, and I'm generating 14. So if the game goes two more generations, I will certainly win that. So I think I can, I can bump this uh, heat right now if I get another opportunity, and I certainly want to. Um, 
He's going to take the last bump next turn. He's still got 26. All right, so <clears throat> I think I do want to get AI down this turn. I don't think I can, actually. Even with investment loan, I think I'm out of it's out of reach for me. Oh no, because I have I can sell the plant. I forgot about that. Um, so I no, I can get there this turn. I think I think I'm gonna try and get AI down this turn, which is gonna over the next two generations will draw me four cards, and hopefully I can get into um, the range to play that interstellar colony ship, which I think I'm gonna I'm gonna need that to to have a chance at winning here. Um, I think I'm just I'm pretty far behind on the board here. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen points on the board, and I'm at nine, and he's at negative one, so I have a ten point spread there and a three point spread. So we're we're almost dead even right now, um, except he has not funded landlord, which he really should do right now. If he doesn't fund landlord, and the mining guild player funds banker um, well, I, I guess I still do have a chance to win this one I think I think we're about even right now on total score <clears throat> except for I have a miles I have an award and he does not and I'm second in this award most likely yeah I'll, I'll most likely end up being second in this award so I've got an additional seven points right here the eco line player really has to fund Landlord. I, I think that uh, I guess the bummer for him there is that it's two points for me. <clears throat> Maybe his calculus is that if the mining guild player funds banker, then he gets two points off of that anyway, which is free. Interesting. I mean, I could throw a wrench in all of that by just funding uh, Scientist next turn, depending on... Um, depending on how that goes. Interesting. My, my gut is telling me that the Ecoline player should have funded Landlord. But the fact that I'm second in Landlord is a deterrent. I, I don't know. That's a tough play. I don't know what you guys think. Um, I got to remember to put my point on fish too. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the fish on there, and then <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and play Trans-Neptune Probe. That's my third tag. Oh, yeah, I get the filter, too. That's actually pretty good. Um, I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and filter that away. It's been a while since I played a science tag, so I forgot about that. Okay, um, and I drew Nitrogen-Rich Asteroid. So I'm at 12. Investment loan lets me play AI, and I think it's worth it to do that. It's another filter. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and play investment loan. And I'm going to go ahead and play AI. I'm going to can I'm going to sell my plant next turn, so I'm just going to can I'm going to use the steel. And I I don't think I'm in danger of losing um, second place on the on the uh, uh, for um, the minor award. I guess the question is, do I want to keep this peroxide power? I don't think I'm playing nitrogen rich asteroid. Like I'm, 
I don't think I'm playing that one. I'm going to discard that and keep the the energy production just in case I get like a cheap city or something that lets me that I need energy for. Let's draw these cards here. Power infrastructure. Commercial district. That's nice. Commercial district's nice. So that's exactly the reason why I kept that peroxide power. Capital also could be quite good. Um, those are good draws. Um, I, I don't think... Um, I'm glad I kept peroxide power. All right, I think I'm just passing here. I think that's all I got. All right. <clears throat> Whatever edge I, I get on the TR parameters now, the Ecoline player is going to get get me back um, when he starts building these plants here. It actually really behooves me to try and get more plants onto the board for that very reason. Um, okay, there's my there's my last tag here. <coughs> so that's actually a really good draw for me. Um, so I think I will be able to play Colony Ship. <coughs> And another option is that I could just fund the scientist. If, it, if the Mining Guild player funds Banker, which I think he's likely to do. Uh, this guy's going to get a crack at Landlord, too. Uh, I'm going to take Pets. I don't think I'm, gonna, I don't think I'm actually going to buy that, but... Local heat trapping. That's actually really good. Um, that's actually, I will keep that card. That's, that card is great for me because that's two animal. That's two more animals on my fish. So I actually think I am going to get to to the 20 point range that I was talking about. I think if, if I can get up to 25 points uh, on cards, I think I have a really good chance of winning. Um, so I'm going to take Lagrange and local heat trapping. So I'm gonna if I with local heat trapping, that's gonna get me to two more here. Then I get another fish. So that's I'm starting this turn at 15, and I'm gonna commercial district could be could be good. That's good. there's there's going to be a place to play commercial district that's good. Um, ideally, I'd play it here just to. Very curious to see what he does. How, how does scientists stand here now? I'm at four. I've got another one in hand. That's risky. Ah, would I, would I, would, do I fund it with, with only a two tag margin? Um, okay. Um, hmm. Let me. I'm gonna see what this guy does. Th this guy should absolutely fund landlord. I, I think. I mean, um. <clears throat> yeah, he should fund the landlord. If he doesn't, will I fund scientist? It's pretty risky. There's no doubt. I think I'm gonna do it though. The thing is, I also have AI. I'm going to draw more cards, too. Oh, he did not take the last bump on the heat. I'm surprised by that, but the mining go player. Man, Ecoline has a lot of cash. I'm, I'm pretty positive that... Um, 
Hey, T4HR1. Uh, I'm glad that you were able to catch me live. I think I'm going to play another game after this one, too. Um, I've, I've been on vacation, so I, I need to get my TR uh, fix. Oh, interesting. He did not fund the landlord. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to take the last heat bump. And, oh, man, do I fund it? It's so risky. But the great thing about it is that it, it just, it totally takes a bunch of points away from that guy. I mean, here, here's why I'm thinking about it is that like, let's say the mining guild player has research in hand and then ends up overtaking me. Like it's, it's pretty bad for me. Um, but it, if I let the scientist fund landlord or if I let the Ecoline player fund landlord, um, yeah, Vic, you're, 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 uh, you're into it. I'm into it. I think I'm going for it. Scientist, we're doing it. Um, they left the door open. I could get I could I could get completely punished for this. Um, like if Mining Guild plays research uh, and then and then takes out takes me out on scientists, like I think I'm I'm probably gonna lose. But yeah, I do. I do have one more tag in hand, and the thing that makes it worth it is that the Ecoline player has zero, so that guy's not catching me. Um, Yeah, immediately he's going to start looking for science tags. I think it was a real mistake for the Ecoline player not to play, not to take Landlord there. But I could be wrong. I mean, he, he's generating a lot of points on the ground right now. So, um, I definitely want to get commercial district down. That's a two pointer as it stands. So the mining guild player has five cards, but just drew one off of uh, restricted zone. Had four cards, so he had four cards that he was saving. I don't think that he, there was no indication that anybody was going to fund scientists though. That kind of came out of nowhere. So I I don't think that he would have been stockpiling them. So I think he's just going to have to rip them on cold draws. And I have AI Central going, so I'm going to draw um, a couple more cards, three more cards here with Lagrange, um, with Lagrange and AI. I have I have three more draws coming. Now I also need to make sure that I actually win Thermalist because <laughs> this guy is going to be at 14. Uh, and well, so I guess my, my ace in the hole is that interstellar colony ship is um, a space event. So I'm gonna get three more out of that too. But I want to spend these uh, these five heat cubes to put two more um, animal tags on fish. So let's see if I play all three of these cards, then that puts me at. Uh, Yeah, I know, but uh, I don't play this game to come in second, Vic. I'm going for it. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get two points off of that. I haven't put my animal point on yet, so I have three there. This is four. This is five, six. So I'm gonna be at eighteen. Yeah, I I, I think. This one's going to be close. Not placing a city here really hurt. He got an additional several points and a bunch of cash out of it that he wouldn't have. Um, <laughs> you think so? I don't think we're quite there yet. There's, I mean, all the milestones and awards are gone, so I don't think it really. I don't think there's a huge advantage to me to playing one action at a time right now. Um, I will hold off on playing heat trapping. I, I, that that I will wait until it's clear that I'm going to to win Thermalist. Um, how's that for a deal? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think he, he really should have funded Landlord. I think that would have been... I mean, I guess it's it's only a three-point play. Um, for him, because I'm going to be second on Landlord, most likely. Let's see here. No, I mean, not necessarily, though. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I think the the Ecoline player probably should have funded that, but Alrighty, so let's get our actions done here. Let's go ahead and sell a plant. Let's go ahead and draw some cards. Dome Crater, no, and Fuel Factory, no. Those are both whiffs. So one more chance at a science tag with Le with uh, the filter off of Lagrange. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. No, I think, Horst, I think the next generation is going to be it. So um, I've, got, I've got one more generation to, to try and get points. Let's see here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our point. Let's go ahead and play Lagrange. Let's filter out Domed Crater, which is a completely whiff. Caretaker Contract and Immigrant City. Yeah, I mean, Immigrant City could be okay. Um, I think I want to get this commercial district down now. Do I have enough for that? If he has Noctis City, it's pretty annoying. One one option is that I could play commercial district here. It takes a point away from me though. It's a little it's a kind of a like a cute thing to do. Um I don't think that guy is going to play another city. I don't know, that's a tough call. I think... Hmm. I'm just thinking about a few things here. I want to get this commercial district down this turn because I want to get the four credits back. Um, you want to wait? It's just four. It's four credits though. I mean, I'm a little worried that he has Noctis. Uh, why is it only three? It's I thought it was four here. My my fear is that I go that he goes like Noctis City Plant. That's like. Pretty annoying. 
Um, well, you're thinking capital. It's a one pointer. Yeah, you're right, three, because the negative one on peroxide power. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I'm gonna wait. <clears throat> I think you're right because, you know, basically, basically, I can drop down that the um, I can drop that thing down here anytime to get to or here. Medical lab, 10 tags. That's pretty good for my banking. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take medical lab. That's a point, that card's good. I got a lot of cash this turn. Ecoline's got a lot of cash too. I might actually, I'm gonna play Sabotage on Ecoline. I'm gonna actually buy that card. Cause I get two back, so it costs me four to four to play it, and I two to play it really. All right, now I feel pretty confident that we will win um, scientists because both of those guys had a crack at this one and they did not take it. Uh, I'm going to hack this one. I'll turn this light on here. I don't think I'm going to buy that one. I don't think I'm going to buy that solar wind but because I, I don't think I'm going to need it. Yeah, I don't think these guys are competing with me for scientists. So I'll take medical lab, which um, that's a little risky. <laughs> I have so much cash. I guess what I'll do, I'll take solar wind because <clears throat> it's a space tag. It gives me two titanium, so this is pretty cheap. I'm gonna take the sabotage too um, to take seven from this guy. Uh, just try and crimp him on cash a little bit. So minor, I think I should be second on <laughs> uh, a far a far second, but a second nonetheless. Um, and in terms of heat, let's see here. Yeah, twenty one fourteen two. Okay. So I don't think he has Noctis City, because if he had Noctis, he would have played it. Oh, well, okay, maybe he does have Noctis. Um, alrighty, so it's my turn here. First, I'm going to sabotage the Eagle Line player. Um, second, I don't have a way to make a greenery tile. This guy does not have enough cash to do it now. And if he plays Noctis, he also won't have enough. I don't care if this guy plays it. So I'm going to go ahead and Go ahead and sell a plant. Okay. Yeah. 
This one's this one's gonna be close. I, I the Ecoline player definitely got a lot of stuff going down on the ground. He just absorbed all of all of these plants. I was not very effective at hitting those. Ganymede. Wow, that's a that's a that's a big that's a big one for him. Didn't realize he had that many Jupiter tags. I think he's just too far behind, though. Um, I mean, he's just 20 points behind on terraforming. So. I don't think there, there's going to be any surprises on second place for Miner. I, I got the, uh, the card. I played the card that gives you five steel or whatever. There's very few actual steel cubes on the board left. Um, so I think that one's pretty locked up. I am going to end the game this turn. I guess I guess this guy could sell these cards and buy a buy a plant. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have bought the plant there. I, I wanted to wait and just see um, see what was going to happen there, but maybe I maybe I waited too long on it. All right, let's go ahead and do that. See what we got here. Standard tech cloud seeding. <coughs> All righty, I'll we'll go ahead and get that guy. Yep. As I thought, we ended up with the same terraforming. So let's see here. So I've got this is this was all even here. I've got two of the awards. That's ten points for me. Mining guild second there. Mining guild second here. Yeah. So the equal line got shut out on awards. That's actually pretty big for me. So I'm going to end up with twelve points on awards, and I'm plus. 14 right now in terms of VP and I'm probably gonna get a, a little bit more the Question is is it enough to defray the massive amount of points that he has on board? I don't know. It's gonna be close 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 25 he's gonna he has 25 points there So yeah, I think I think if I can get my VP up to 25 here, I'll probably be okay. Urbanized area, it's fine. Water imports, <laughs> it's pretty good. Got a lot of points there. Um, man, I wish I had a way to hack that last All right, well, this guy's gonna get, he's gonna get one more plant. So what I really wanna do, I can put the, um, I can put the uh, the uh, commercial zone here to block his last plant placement in an optimal location. That takes a point away from him. So let's, um, I think I do want to do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play solar wind power. Let's me filter. Get rid of fuel factor, power infrastructure. Definitely don't need that one. Um, and then I'm gonna play this commercial district.
That's good for me. It's a two point play for me. Um, and it takes a point away from him. So it's a, it's a net three. I think that's a good play. I'm at 17 now. I need to make sure that I save enough for a uh, colony ship. In fact, I should probably just do that at some point just to get it off the... Make sure I don't make a mistake. <coughs> that'll be additional four. That'll be at 21. And then when I play Heat Trapping, that'll get me to 23. And I'll still have a little bit of cash to do some other stuff. All right, so everybody's passed. Let's take a quick look here. This guy's gonna be at 17 cubes, and I'm gonna be at a lot more than that. Um, so that one's a lock. This guy has no way to generate minerals, so I do, so I can spend all my minerals now. So let's go ahead and play colony ship here. Yeah, yeah, Vic, he does have one more. That's why I played this one here. Let's go ahead and do the heat trapping. Animals. And let's see here. Actions. I did all of them. Let's go ahead. Oh, and then make sure that I got the scientist right. I, I should. Yeah, I do. All right. I'm going to go ahead and sell some stuff here. I'm going to sell fuel factory, caretaker contract, um, cloud seeding, standard tech. Um, okay. So what's my best set of plays here? I have 36. Uh, this gets me two more points. Is there a place that I could play? I mean, capital gets me three more points. If I just play it here. So maybe I play Peroxide Power Capital. Do I have enough for that? I think I do. This is uh, 26, uh, 33. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, and then last thing, I can sell some cards, and I think I can still get Medical Lab down, so that was four. Or no, I can get Solar Power down. So I can sell these two, and I'll have exactly enough to play Solar Power. All right, well, I was able to get up to that range that I thought I would be safe. <clears throat> All right, let's see what the final point total is. That was a very good game. The Ecoline player played really, really well. And I think that the Mining Guild player just, I think, um, also played well, but just kind of got shut out there a little bit. I think he just needed to do more terraforming and got a little, a little too um, uh, concentrated on trying to bump the steel production, which is a common trap with Mining Guild. I think what you want to do with Mining Guild is is use that ability when it's available but you can't let it warp your entire game or or this happens where you just end up 20 points behind on terraforming it's just so hard to win that way like you're just not going to win that way um and i i'm I, I have to go back and like look at all of the this would be an interesting game to go back and watch in retrospect and see what the point totals might have looked like um 
if the Ecoline player had funded uh, guard or, um, Landlord, which I really think should have done. Um, let's see how are we doing on cash here he's got 51 and I've got 49 so if I lose on a tiebreaker that will be frustrating I think I think I should be good though because I the points that he has on the board I've made up on the point difference between us um, not not quite it's gonna be close this one's gonna be close um, <coughs> excuse me Oh man, I hope that <clears throat> Mining Guild player doesn't make us wait 26 minutes to see the score. I'd be pretty bummed about that. So let's see here. So he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, plants, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So he's got 26 points. And uh, I think I'm just going to edge him out on awards. He's got 26 points on board. But then I've got 23 points. I can never remember if this includes... Well, we're about to see. Yeah, those 12 points there on awards, I think, is going to be the difference. Yeah. Yeah, I think... You know, good game there. Good game, but... Um, hey, Wolf! Um, let's just take a quick look at that. <laughs> well, I am going to stream another one today. I, um, but I have to go eat something for a little bit. And I actually think I'm going to wait because uh, my buddy Nima, uh, he, uh, unfortunately, he, well, or fortunately, he moved. He's no longer living in Albuquerque, where I live. Um, and... Uh, that's kind of a bummer. So, um, but uh, we're gonna try and get together and do a streaming session uh, later on this evening. So I, I don't know exactly what uh, what time that will be. Um, let's take a quick look at this one though. This this award section was the key. I think um, the over the, the the total margin here was fourteen points. So a single award would have been a probably a, somewhere in the eight to ten point range swing. Um, yeah, that was a good game. Um, all right, um, I am going to take a quick break and go grab some lunch. Uh, let me text, um, <clears throat> uh, well, for, for those of you who are watching this on the website, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.